Well, it's been a while. It's been a while, I tell you, but I'm glad you're here. Come on in here, everybody. We're going to sit and talk about France today. I'm going to show you pictures, and Paula Johnson, Paula Oldham Johnson is going to join us, and she's one of the best storytellers, and plus she can remember the names, these French fancy names that I really can't remember because they're spelled so differently, you know. But I'm glad you're here, so come on in. It's going to be a fun, fun day. Well, come on in. Come on in. Pull up the chair and tell how you've been. Sing, sing in a little bit. I'll do the lead. So if you would do the harmony. But if you can't sing in tune, well, that's okay because we still need you. Just don't forget your decaf on sweet tea. Then sit up straight and sing along with me. Come on in. Come on in. Pull up a chair and tell me how you've been. Don't forget your decaf on sweet tea. Then sit up straight and sing along with me. Yeah, sit up straight and sing along with me. Oh, it's going to be a fun day, fun morning. And y'all pray for me because I have misplaced my passport. I just get home and I've got a habit for, for that cruise. That Gaither cruise coming up, and I'm wearing these today so I can hear Paula when we finally get to her. Uh, but y'all put that on. I know, don't put it high on your prayer list, you know. I mean, like maybe 30th down, mark your passport, help him find it. Oh, because, you know, you don't want to lose your passport, even though I hate using it. You know, I don't like you have to use it. But I enjoyed this trip to France. We had a good, good time. And it was just one week, and it is, let me tell you, flying over there, getting on that time zone over there was easier than coming home. I thought coming home would be easier, you know, but oh, man, it's taken me days. That's why I haven't been back on here, because I've just, I've been wanting to go to bed about 530 every afternoon, because I'm on that France time zone. Hey, Pierre, it was good to see you. We met. Pierre and his mother. I'm going to tell you all about it. But first, I want to tell you this weekend, uh, I'm in Lubbock, Texas. That's tomorrow night, right? Thursday, this Thursday. Yeah, tomorrow night. I'm in Lubbock, Texas with Jim and Melissa Brady. They're joining me and it's going to be so much fun. And then Saturday, I'm in Midland, Texas, and they'll be with me. And then on Sunday, the 21st, I'm in Enid, Oklahoma. I think they're there, too. I don't know, y'all. Go to marklowry.com slash tour. I never know who's going to be there, but I'm so excited about them. I've done many concerts with Jim and Melissa, and then we sing together, and we're going to do a bunch of old hymns. It's a fun night. And then Tuesday, April 23rd in Myrtle Beach. Anyway, you can go to marklowry.com slash tour and find out where I'm going to be. And the Canadian and New England cruise, which I will be going on if God answers some of your prayers that I find my passport. That is, when is that? September 7th through the 14th. And that's going to be fun. Uh, also, join me Thursday, May 2nd at 2 p.m. We're going to be talking about Unfolding Word and the impact that you and I are having through the ministry of Unfolding Word. It's going to be great. Also, November 8th and 9th, don't miss Mark Lowry Hometown Weekend. Look who's going to be there. The Isaacs, the Hoppers, Bill and Gloria Gaither, Riley, Harrison, Clark, uh, Jeff and Sherry Easter, The Sound, and Jaron Davis and Kindred Souls. It's going to be great. And look who's there. Paula, hello. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> yeah, good morning. We've been up so, forever. What time did you get up this morning? I woke up at four. I can't. I can't, I can't get adjusted. It's crazy. I know. I'm, See right I'm, now, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's five p.m. over there. Yeah, yeah. The, by this time, 
by this time we were headed to dinner. <laughs> well, except well, they have dinner late there. Very yeah, late. Let's talk about that. You know, people, they eat late over there. Late. Yeah, yeah. they like do. Like start they, at 8 o'clock. And, and then don't, don't end until 10 or 11. <laughs> I know, they lollygag. But you know what? That's the way to do it. They talk, they catch up. It's all yeah. about community more than about cramming all that food down your throats and heading and home. And they, they don't have their phones in front of them. They're right. talking to each other. So it's a, yeah. it's a good thing. Now, who is that in your lap? This is Jax. I'm holding him because if I put him down and he hears your voice, he's going to be barking. Okay. Oh, good. Hi, Jax. And so you're in Lynchburg, or Ma where are you? Madison Lynchburg? Heights. Madison yeah. Heights, which is near Lynchburg. And I'm yeah. moving to yeah. Forest, which is probably 45 minutes from where you are, I guess. Maybe half hour. Half yeah. hour? Yeah. Anyway, so that's fun. So you're in, in that fact, I'm wearing my Texas in. Let me show you. Oh, my yeah. Texas in uh, t shirt. See, pick him back up. So, anyway, I want to get to our trip. First of all, this trip was planned, uh, what, a year ago? Because I saw yeah, you go into France. About it. Yeah. I saw you, you go about, every, about twice a year because you have a grandbaby there. Yes, I do. A beautiful boy, Jules. And he turned four, and so I was coming, uh, planning to go to his birthday party in April, and we just decided a bunch of us would go. Yeah, and so Dee Dee, your sister, yeah, who is so easy to spot in the crowd because of her big white <laughs> yes. Yes. skunk hairdo, That's and it. then um, <laughs> uh, Steve Burba, who we've all known since college. Yeah, and uh, college days. In fact, we all go back. You you went to Liberty. What was it called? Lynchburg Baptist Baptist College. College. Nineteen seventy one. The founding year. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm the old guard. <laughs> and I came along in nineteen seventy five, and uh, so we've known each other forever. So we yeah. go on this trip to France, and I want to tell everybody that's watching: if you've been to Paris, you've not been to France. That's right. Paris is like any big city. And it's horrible traffic, the worst traffic I've ever been in in my oh, life. We sat for what thirty minutes and went half a block. It was yeah. terrible. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. so we we arrive in pair. I arrive. You've already been there a week or so, visiting yeah. your son and a daughter-in-law and grandbaby, and their extended family. And so, I, and Dee Dee's with you. I guess Burpa shows up. At some he point. showed up at the train station. Yep. Okay. And so then I fly in, and let's just start looking at pictures. There we are. Oh, there's first Pierre. we meet. There's hey, Pierre, Pierre and his mother. <laughs> She's that such a fun. beautiful, sweet lady. Oh, my goodness. She I loved is. her. She was precious. And he's wanting to go to Liberty through the uh, yeah. online. internet. Online. We've and then I'll just start plowing through these. Cause uh -huh. they, tell, tell us where we are. That's Moray Sirloin. Uh, that's... Uh, Moray, the city or village of Moray on the Loing River, Sur meaning on, and that's uh, along the riverside there. It's a medieval buildings, absolutely stunning. And the roar of that water, it was especially high and it was so loud. That looks it's like just, a painting. Oh, it's just so picturesque, just beautiful. I love going there. That's the first place I always want to go. There we are. And in there the we are. <laughs> Yeah, tell them it's a it's it's a it's a restaurant that looks like it's just built on the side of a wall. Yeah, it perched over the river, and they have great crepes and galettes. And galettes are like thin pancakes, but not sweet. They're savory, and there's our our Coca Cola four dollar <laughs> cups without, without sugar, Coke Zero. And they're about four, four dollars. Isn't that right? Four dollars. Yeah. So you know, I, yeah. That's why I put a picture up because we had a four dollar Coke. Yeah. And that's and here's more Dee Dee and Bubba. Burba. And that's the restaurant on the right side there. Yeah. Sitting by the tower. Yeah. And there's the crepery. Yeah. And that's. And then you, um, you, you just take great pictures. This, now, this is that guitar player. What's his name? Isn't that what this is? Oh, no, no. This, I don't even know who that is. That's in the. Uh, oh, you just Barbara's cooked on it? Yeah, that's in Barbizon. Uh, they have these uh, classic um, French paintings done in mosaics, and they have them posted all over town. It's kind of an artsy 
town, and I just love those mosaics. And this is where you had your first frites, your first French fries. You were on the hunt oh, for French fries. I was fries. on the hunt. <laughs> you you know, when you invent something, you want to take, but they don't call them French fries. They call them frites. Frites, yep. Frites. So we had frites. Uh oh, I didn't wait. I got to turn you. I forgot to turn this one on. Hold on one second. I thought I got them all. There you are. Uh, so here's I, what's I, left. That's before, you know how you want to take a picture of something, but you've eaten all of it before you think to take the picture. That's our second that was, bowl. <laughs> and that's uh, me on the right and your son uh, standing yeah. next to me, John yeah. Jr. And that's Steve Berba, Dee Dee. I'm going from right to left. And yeah. oh, that's uh, sweet Juliet, Juliet yeah. uh, John's and wife. And there's you <laughs> and Jules. Yeah. yeah. We had just had Indian food. Oh, oh that's on the right. road. This is us on, on the, the road. road. We're heading, and we started stuff for breakfast. <laughs> we ordered their breakfast sandwich, which turned out to be a but cheeseburger no. with bacon on it. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't very breakfasty, but but it actually was good. It wasn't now, bad. Oh. These flowers. Tell them about these flowers. They're beautiful. well. These are the unfortunate, unfortunately named rapeseed <laughs> uh, yeah. field. They are so stunning, especially in the sunlight. They just are. They practically glow, and they're all over France. I think they make canola oil uh, with that. That's what it's I've heard. Beautiful. Everybody said that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah very. And of course, you took. They have that, the power stuff, and there's Dee Dee. Uh, go, we tried to That's go Didi. to the, the toll with the wet with the, toll. with the wet ticket. You remember yes. that the wet Steve ticket got from Burma? coffee on the ticket or something. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was a struggle. And here we are walking down to where are we going? We're going to Clouse, which is uh, the home of Leonardo da Vinci in Amboise, France. Yeah. And that was fun. Oh, then you that, took a picture of this, and we wanted to see. Yes, we say that's it the like. gargoyle with the gargoyle. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Clouse, the building, the house of Leonardo. And, and here you we stand are. And, and, then, and the lines were great because there was. Oh, they were so any. good! Perfect time to go. Usually, last time I was there, that that um, porch hallway was lined with people, and it was so hot. But you have a happy little look on your face. <laughs> you must go in April if you're going to go, because uh, evidently everybody's busy, and the weather's great. Now this is Leonardo's bed. Yeah, that's his bedroom. And they're beautiful very short people. <laughs> right? I don't know if it's that or if it's if it's an illusion because they're so tall. I don't know, but well, the beds all look short to me. Short. Yeah, and you can't get that's in on them. Hall. Try them out. That's his chapel. Here. Yeah, he had his own chapel, y'all. And there's his little bench to pray on, and that's his uh, studio. I'm sure none of these are original. That's the dining room, and that's a copy of Mona, Ma Mona Lisa. And we, we didn't walk the gardens, but we looked over at them. <laughs> 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 and that's Amboise, the town of Amboise. We had lunch there. There's our lunch. It yeah. was good. There's some more, more freaks. Now this <laughs> painting, I'm going to remove us from, this looks like a painting to me, doesn't it? It does. I know. I think that's so that can... That's who? That, well, yeah. Isn't that beautiful? So that beautiful. So pretty. Oh, there's our fancy dinner where we left before, before dessert because uh, we didn't get to, we had to wait for an hour because they won't serve dinner till seven. And nobody was there at seven. It was too early, but they would serve us. And then it went on for so long. We left before dessert. Yeah, <laughs> we it, was, it was too much. Yeah, yeah, I just can't sit at a dinner for three or four hours. And that's no, that. And the, then it was. Say what? I said, that's how empty the uh, the restaurant was when we started eating. We we're the only ones. Oh, there's Jules and there's Burba Jules. and Burke. <laughs> and we were seated at a real long table. They have a lot of long family tables over there. Oh, like there's that. his imperial, his imperial highness, Lord <laughs> of Shenanso. <laughs> <laughs> now, where is this taken? This is Shenanso. Um, it's a big palace castle that uh, spans the Cher River. And it is 
unbelievably beautiful. I love it. Yeah, I remember being there. I just can never remember these names. Oh, yeah, now, look up there's a fireplace. fireplace. And Mark, you're so tiny. <laughs> look at that, the size of that thing. Oh, we're cafe. Are, we're just, yeah. yeah. They have, the, everybody eats outside. Oh, oh, my son ordered tartare, raw hamburger with a raw egg. He loves it. And you tried it. And I tried it. And I'll <laughs> never try it again. I, I just, it wasn't, if it had been great, I'd do it again. But it just, oh, we're done. Look at there. Y'all, yeah. hold on. Let me go back to there. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, my child. There we are. Wasn't it fun? It was great. I loved yeah. it. We'll probably never do it again, but we got it. <laughs> so you were in the original Old Time Gospel Hour trio. I was. And it's there are just... people pro watching who probably remember you and Don Norman and yeah. David Redman. Yeah. And in fact, I think, didn't we look it up on YouTube? Aren't there some? Yeah, yeah, the whole album is on, on YouTube. <laughs> and if you go to the Goodwill around here, you can get the album for a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> but what a great, great time that was. And I yeah, love that trio. Day. Good days, they really were. And now you're a grandma, how many times? Three, I want more, but that's the end. <laughs> is it? You can never have too many, I don't think. No, 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 no. Well, thank you, Paula Oldham Johnson, who happens to be, for those of you who don't know, did, remember Doug Oldham, who also yeah. was uh, the old time Gospel Hour soloist, but he had a big solo career. Doug Oldham, yeah. I love Doug Oldham. I loved his communication skills. He was great. Yeah. He was a great daddy. Yeah. All right. Well, have a good day, darling. Okay. You too. Sing on. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. Are y'all ready to sing? I am in the S's and it's been too long. Hello, Janice Lynn Williams, uh, Rob Fraley, all you tuning in, 478 of you watching on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. I hope that, um, uh, that if you're on YouTube, you subscribed and you rung the bell. And oh, Glen Rose, Texas, Sh Sherry Fellers. I've got comments going over here, y'all. I was in Glen Rose yesterday. I took uh, Colin Wyatt Tate and his mom and dad, and uh, Colleen went with me. She drove, she's such a good driver. And we drove four hours to Glen Rose, Texas, where they have this uh, rim, fossil rim park that you can drive through and there are not a, yeah, ostriches and and zebra and they have a uh, uh, cheetah but they're of course behind the fence so you don't they can't jump in your car and the um, giraffe you should see the little Colin feeding the giraffes they would come stick their head in the window and eat right out of his hand and tickle it and I thought I was filming it and just like the old person that I am, I hadn't hit the button. Y'all, it's horrible. But I did get a good long shot of the floorboard because I turned it off, which I turned it off, which I was turning it on. So there's, oh, that was disappointing. But anyway, if you're watching on YouTube, hit the subscribe and share. And if you're watching on Facebook, please share. Sharing is caring. Hit the subscribe and ring the bell on youtube y'all i got too much going in my brain shall we gather at the river here we go shall we gather at the river where bright angel feet hang trout with its crystal tide forever flowing by the throne of God. Sing with me, come on. Yes, we'll gather at the river, the beautiful, the beautiful river. Gather with the saints at the river that flows by the throne of God. Now soon we'll reach the shining river. 
Soon our pilgrimage will cease Soon our happy hearts will quiver With the melody of peace Oh, sing, yes, we'll gather at the river The beautiful, the beautiful river Gather with the saints at the river that flows by the throne of God That flows by the throne of God It flows by the throne of God Yes! Can you imagine it? You're in a tube. I love tubing. When I was a kid, Daddy used to take us, all, the whole family, to the Comal River in New Braunfels, Texas, and we would float and tube down the river. Can you imagine passing the throne of God one day? Hey, y'all, uh, you're asking about Q. I see that. Ruth Dowdy, thank you. Thank you all for praying for Q. You know, Q Phillips is my road manager. Started out as my road manager, then he became my... Uh, office manager and he kind of he and his wife just run everything and uh, I thank God for Q and Danny they do a great job for me and um, he went in for a yearly test of some sort and they found out he has leukemia and you prayed for him and it he's on the uh, the chemo pills and I think it's chronic. They believe it's chronic, which means it's manageable. And so thank God for your prayers. Thank you for praying for him. And keep praying for him. Keep him on your prayer prayer list. A little higher than my passport, but I can go get another passport. But I have lost my passport. Why did I bring that up again? You know what? how much trouble it is to get a new passport? Anyway. Uh, sheltered. We're going through the hymnal alphabetically, you know. Sheltered in the arms of God is next. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Pause. Where is sheltered? What? Hold on. Here it is. I skipped it somehow. Here we go. All right, Dottie. One more time. Dottie Rambo wrote this, y'all. One of the greatest writers to ever live. I feel the touch of hands so kind and tender. They're I must try. I'll have no fear. Jesus walks beside me. Dark clouds rise, they won't worry me, for I'm sheltered safe within the arms of God. He walks with me, and naught of earth shall harm me. Heaven's portals Come home, my child It's the last mile You must try I'll just fall asleep And wake in God's new heaven 
sheltered safe within the arms of God. So let the storms rage high, the dark clouds rise, they won't worry me. I'm sheltered, safe within the arms of God. He walks with me, not of earth can harm me, for I'm sheltered in the arms of God. Love Dottie Rambo. Hey, Rebecca Haskins, Donna Monique, Money um, from Knoxville, and Nelson Braga. God bless you all. Thank you for tuning in, y'all. What a wonder. Oh, this is a good one. All right, sit up straight. Let's sing. <clears throat> what a wonderful change in my life has been wrought. Since Jesus came into my heart I have light in my soul For which long I had sought Since Jesus came into my heart Thank God, Colleen found my passport You prayed and it showed up Well, since Jesus came into my heart Floods of joy on my soul like the sea billows roll Since Jesus came into my heart I shall there to dwell in that city I know Since Jesus came into my heart And I'm happy, so happy as onward I go since Jesus came into my heart Sing since Jesus came into my heart Since Jesus came into my heart Floods of joy o'er my soul Like the sea billows roll Since Jesus came into my heart Floods of joy on my soul like the sea billows roll Since Jesus came into my heart Yeah! Thank you, Colleen. I have no idea where she found it. But I put her on the hunt because I, I thought of everywhere, everywhere I'd been, you know. She said, when did you see it last? I said, well, if I knew, I'd go there. What kind of question? Anyway, here it is. Thank you, Colleen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you all for praying. Even though I told you now, put that on the bottom of your list. Because it's not that important. You can always get a new passport, you know. But it sure is a struggle. Oh, yeah, somebody loves me. Aren't you glad somebody loves you? I'm in love with my Savior and He's in love with me. He is with me from day to day. What a friend is He. Watches over me while I sleep. Hears me when I pray. I'm as happy as I can be and I now can say, sing it. Somebody loves me, answers my prayers. I love somebody, I know He cares. Somebody tells me not to repine That somebody is Jesus and I know he's mine You'll be happy if you will let Jesus have his way He has work for us all to do every passing day Feed the hungry and cheer the sad for the sinner pray 
You'll have joy that you never had And you then can say Somebody, somebody loves me Answers my prayers I love somebody I know he cares Somebody tells me not to repine That somebody is Jesus And I know he's mine That somebody loves me Answers my prayers Saying, I love somebody, I know he cares Somebody tells me not to repine That somebody is Jesus and I know he's mine That somebody is Jesus, big breath, I know he's mine Get that big note Oh, 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 oh I can't go that high But you sopranos can How many of you did? I hope you did. I hope you're singing along. Wouldn't that be silly if I'm doing all this and how many of you are watching 606 and I'm the only one singing? I bet you most of y'all are singing with me. I just sense it. You know where I first heard this song? Somebody, look, Rosie Roselle and the Searchers. They would stay in our home at 17403 Anvil Circle, Houston, Texas. They would stay at our home and would sit around the table and but we'd go hear them sing and they sang this song a lot. Somebody loves me, answers my prayer. Ba -doom, boom, boom. I love somebody, I know he cares. Okay, next. <laughs> All right, sit up straight, standing on the promises, here we go. Standing on the promises of Christ, my King. Through eternal ages, let His praises ring. Glory in the highest, I will shout and sing. Standing on the promises of God. Sing, y'all. Standing, standing. Standing on the promises of God, my Savior. Standing, standing. I'm standing on the promises of God. Standing on the promises that cannot fail. When the howling storms of doubt and fear assail. By the living word of God I shall prevail I'm standing on the promises of God Standing, standing Standing on the promises of God my Savior Standing, standing I'm standing on the promises of God Standing, standing I'm standing on the promises of God boop, 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 boop. Yeah, we sang that one about every Wednesday night, Sunday morning, Sunday night. That was a Good one on the playlist at the Berean Baptist Church on 11th Street in Houston, Texas. I like it. I like it. I like it. I don't want to do that one. Sweetest song I know. Do y'all want to do that? I think you got it too low. So I need to, I need some new songs, y'all. Hey, put that on your prayer list way on down there, like 40, 50 that Kevin will get me some new tracks. I really haven't pursued it, but I need to because I've been going through this. I need some, put in the, hey, you know what you can do? Put in the comment what song you'd like to hear. The hymn, in the hymnal, please, don't give me something new I gotta learn. Something that we all know, and I'll look through my list of uh, uh, ones that haven't been done yet, and let's, uh, let's get about 10 or 12 of them sent over to Kevin or somebody, if Kevin's too busy, I can get somebody to do it. And we'll get us some new tracks. But I'd like to do some songs you want to do. You know, this is all about you and me, not just me. 
It's all about singing together as I belch in between thoughts. Belch and sing with Mark. You know, why not? And my Howard Goodman. You know, if you're just getting to know me, as I've aged, I've noticed that you can do a lot, but the neck will always give you away. I need some kind of special lighting. Anyway, the, I've named this Howard Goodman because Howard had the best neck. I'd go to that Goodman Cafe, you know, after those 12-hour Gaither concerts, and I would sit there, get there, and Howard would already be there with a jar of mayonnaise and a, and a Vienna sausage, and he'd stick that Vienna in that mayonnaise. And Anyway, <clears throat> but he had a neck that just fell like draperies on his chest, and they puddled. I'm sure he had to lift that up to wash up under there. But mine is going to be there. Give me 10 years, and I will have a complete set of drapes right here, just puddling. See, this has already started right here. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you, because I can. This is not NBC, ABC, or CBS, and nobody's timing me. I could sit here all day if I wanted to. I mean, into the night. I could, but I'm not going to. Ah, uh, because lucky for you, I'm ADHD. Now, you know I dropped the H when I turned 50 about 15 years ago because I realized I'm too old to chase my brain around the room. I can sit in the Lazy Boy and watch it, and I know it'll be back. So, but I dropped, I'm just ADD now. And so I will get bored real soon now, real soon, real quick. Won't be long. We've already been going 36 minutes. I give myself maybe 10 more minutes. And my ADD will kick in and I will be out of here. Okay. So let's try the sweetest song. Why not? Sing with me, y'all. I've heard them sing, he paid the price, and Jesus bore it all. I've heard them sing, I'm coming home, and hear the master's call. I've heard them sing the modern songs, and songs of long ago. But amazing grace, how sweet the sound, it's the sweetest song I know. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound, oh how sweet is the sound, no sweeter song, sweeter song in this life could ever be found. I've heard of a fountain filled with blood, but amazing grace, how sweet the sound, it's the sweetest song I know. <laughs> well, it was a song my mama sang in sweet and humble voice. Like music from the world above, it made my soul rejoice. Its soothing words and melody like a rippling water flow. But amazing grace, how sweet the sound, it's the sweetest song I know. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound, oh how sweet is the sound. No sweeter song, sweeter song in this life could ever be found. I heard a sound filled with blood but amazing grace how sweet the sound it's the sweetest song I know well oh how sweet is the sound no sweeter song sweeter song in this life could ever be found I've heard of the fountain filled with blood but amazing grace, how sweet the sound is the sweetest song I know. It's the sweetest song I know. I told Jack it for before it was over. Come on, Kevin. Kevin Williams. If he'd have put that capo on there, it wouldn't have been so low. I know a capo can do stuff. Change the pitch, actually. But <clears throat> anyway, we got through it. Ooh, tell it to Jesus, y'all. Quit gossiping and tell it to Jesus. I guess it's not gossip if you tell him. Are you weary? Are you heavy-hearted? Tell it to Jesus. 
Jesus, tell it to Jesus. Are you grieving over joys departed? Tell it to Jesus alone. Sing, tell it to Jesus, tell it to Jesus. He is a friend that's well known. You've no other such a friend or brother. Tell it to Jesus alone. Do you fear the gathering clouds of sorrow? Tell it to Jesus, tell it to Jesus. Are you anxious? What shall be tomorrow? Tell it to Jesus alone. Come on! Tell it to Jesus, tell it to Jesus. He is a friend that's well known. You've no other such a friend or brother. Tell it to Jesus alone. Are you troubled at the thought of dying? Tell it to Jesus, tell it to Jesus. For Christ's coming kingdom are you sighing? Tell it to Jesus alone. Sing! Tell it to Jesus, tell it to Jesus. He is a friend that's well known. Cause you've no other such a friend or brother. Tell it to Jesus alone. You've no other such a friend or brother. Tell it to Jesus alone. Mm. And I love this next one, y'all. Oh, I don't have it up there, but I'm going to put it up there. Tell me the story of Jesus. Don't you love that one? I love that part where it says, um, Please uh, stay, let me weep while you whisper love. <laughs> Paid the ransom for me. Golly. I do love this story. You know, I haven't been in here in a few days because I've been, I went to France. Then I come home and I'm still on that France time zone. Come 5.30, I can barely hold my head up. I just didn't feel like it. But I tell you what, I really didn't feel like it. Uh, to this when I started what? How long ago did I start this? Forty-two minutes ago. But I feel like it now because I love singing about him. It reminds me how much he loves us, you know. And then it lifts your spirits. Next thing you know, you're in a good mood. Who knew? Even if you're tired. So, thank you, Colleen, for finding. You know what, women can find stuff. They can. I knew it'd show up because I knew I hadn't been anywhere. You know, I came through customs, showed them this, and they let me through, said, welcome home. I said, good to be here. And um, then who knows where I put it? I'm going to ask her when this is over. Did you eat any French fries? Oh, you missed it, Barry Barry. I've been, we back this tape up when I'm done and watch all the pictures and all the stuff. Yeah. Uh, I ate plenty of frites. They call them frites. They don't call them french fries. We're the only ones that call them french fries. Anyway, I've enjoyed being with you today. And I do want to sing one more song. What about I sing one I wrote? One of mine that'll be coming out this year sometime. And I'll just pick one that I feel like doing. Uh, how about Go With God? That's a good one to close with. I sure appreciate you tuning in, all 691 of you. This is what I wish for you. May the hand of God protect you as we go our separate ways. May the love of God surround you as we rise and leave this place. May the mind of God be in you Giving wisdom from above May His perfect peace enfold you Bringing hope and joy and love Go with God 
go with God Go with God And He will go with you Go with God Go with God Go with God And He will go with you I wish you strength when you're weary Peace through darkest nights I wish you hope for your tomorrows And love throughout your life Know the Father's watching over you And His Son walks by your side Know the Spirit lives within you as your comfort and your guide Now go with God Go with God Go with God And He will go with you Go with God Go with God And He will go with you Because where is He not? You know, you think about it. Go with God, He'll go with you. Well, yeah. Can you go anywhere that He isn't? You can't run from Him because He's everywhere. I love that idea, and I love that thought, because by him was everything made that is made and was made, and he holds all things together. So if you ever if you ever find a place where he isn't, you will fall apart, because he's holding everything in place. All the molecules and the nuclei and the and the pieces, and he holds. He is the glue. He's the creator, the sustainer, and the glue that holds all things together. Yes. You can know he's with you everywhere you go. He's with you. All right, y'all. That's my little, I mean, I'm done. Bye.